Have you ever done something so stupid that your cheeks flamed up like a nun in a flop house? Charles Darwin called blushing the most peculiar and perhaps one of the most human expressions of all because our bodies produce all sorts of involuntary reactions like laughing, yawning, hiccuping, but it may just be that blushing is the weirdest of them all. After all, we know that primates yawn, we know that pandas hiccup, and we know that rats giggle when tickled. Yes, there's an actual study documenting this, but animals generally do not blush. So what's going on in the human brain and body? Well, when you're involved in something embarrassing and you get flustered, your sympathetic nervous system gets in on the action, engaging with your flight or fight response. In just a split second, adrenaline is coursing through your body, it increases your heart rate, your breathing, your pupils dilate, and then all that energy in your body gets rerouted to your muscles. All right, the rosy cheeks. What's going on with that? Well, it's your blood vessels, which are dilating so that they can increase oxygen and blood flow to the rest of your body. And those veins and your cheeks are also getting in on the game. They are responding to adrenaline and bingo, your brief but very acute emotional turmoil is seen by everyone in the world. There are a couple of theories as to why we do this, but the most popular one has everything to do with body language, especially if you consider that up to 60% of our communication is done through nonverbal cues. So if my face were to flush red, it would be a way of saying, I deeply regret burping out loud in public please do not ostracize me. Another aspect of the face flush has a lot to do with perfectionism, self-consciousness, and even anger. So let's say that you were to discover that toilet paper was trailing from your pants. Well, you wouldn't sit there and raise your hands to the heavens and say, oh, the shame of it all. But your face might turn a couple of shades redder as an acknowledgement that you may be being judged and found to be far from perfect. So if you think it's weird that humans use their skin in order to communicate, I want you to consider the cuttlefish, which is swimming along in the ocean when it sees a nice little lady that it might want to mate with. Well, on the other side of the lady, there are a pack of would-be suitors that are gonna also try to woo her. So what does this cuttlefish do? Well, it uses the chromatophores in its skin to communicate on one side of its body to the would-be suitors, hey, back off, she's mine. While on the other side of its body, the one facing the lady, it kind of gives nice, calm patterns that say, hey, how's it going? All right, when I blush, I tend to blush in a zebra pattern. What about you guys? Do you blush a little bit, a lot? Let us know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more mind-blowing videos. Also, please visit stufftoblowyourmind.com.